How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be doing a video series, and this is going to be the Note 3 for beginners. Uh, such an awesome phone, one of the, the biggest selling phones of the year. And uh, it can be a little overwhelming because it does so much. So in this series, we're going to just take it step by step. And um, we're going to go over everything from the basics of what everything is, how to use it. I'm going to show you some tweaks that you can make that will help it uh, make it a little bit easier to use. And uh, we're going to go over the S Pen, how to use a little stylus, anything and everything. Um, this isn't going to be one long video. Again, it's going to be broken up into uh, segments just so that it won't be overwhelming or too much information at one time. So in this first video, we're just going to go over some, some tweaks just to get you started. And then in part two, we're going to go over uh, all the icons and the basics. You can kind of get a gist of where everything is and how it operates. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, you're going to swipe down from the top here. And right up here is uh, where you get to your settings. So we're going to tap on the little wheel here. And so what we want to do here is first we're going to go to device. We're going to go to display. Come all the way to the bottom and see where it says show battery percentage. We're going to check this box. If you notice up here right now we see the battery. But we don't really know uh, how much juice is left. We can kind of guess. But if we turn this on, now we can actually see what percentage uh, the battery has left of juice. So that's a big tweak. I always like to do that when I first get a phone. So uh, this is the first big tweak we're going to make. The second one is if you go up to the top here where it says screen timeout, you might notice that your screen uh, goes off really fast if you don't touch the screen. So right now the phone comes set to 30 seconds. So if you don't touch the phone within 30 seconds, it will automatically time, basically dim the screen. So we're going to tap here. And we're going to play it on three minutes. You can adjust this depending on what's more comfortable for you. But I usually say three to five minutes is the best. Uh, just so the screen doesn't go off too fast. So um, you can set yours on three, five, whatever you're more comfortable with. Okay. And then from there, we are going to uh, press this little arrow that points to the left right next to the wheel. And that will take us out of that screen. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go to control. So right now we're up by device. We want to come over to where it says control, which is right next to device. And we want to go to S Pen. And we want to go to where it says S Pen Keeper. This is a great feature um, that's going to help you to not lose your S Pen. Now the S Pen is our little stylus pen. If you kind of use your fingernail and just kind of get a little hook of it, you can just pull it out like such. This thing is really awesome, but it's also kind of easy to lose if you're not paying attention or maybe if you're new to the device and you kind of forget about it. So by turning on this feature, which is S Pen Keeper, uh, here's what it says. It sounds an alert and shows a pop-up when you walk away with your device without attaching its S Pen to it. This feature only works when the screen is off. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on and it says the number of steps taken before the alert occurs may be different. Some movements similar to walking may cause the alert to occur as well. So this is just so a precaution to help you not to lose the stylus pen because it is pretty expensive to get a new one if you do lose this one. All right, so that's that. And we're gonna do one more tweak. And this is again, another like, you know, uh, tweak that, um, I find very important. Let me just demonstrate it for you real quick. So right now, I'm gonna send a text message to myself. Hold on one second. Let's, uh, uno momento, Mr. Roboto. Well, I need to just set it up. Nope, that's not it. Sorry, please pause for station identification. All right. So I'm going to send a text message to myself. It's going to say yo. Send it. I'm going to turn the screen off. And here's what I want you to notice. When you when a text message comes through, right now it just says new message. So you you don't get to see who it's from. You don't get to see a preview of the message, but the tweak we're going to make is going to allow you to actually see who the text message is from. 
and a preview of it from your lock screen. Even if we swipe down from the top here, and we're going to go over that in the next video, it'll just say, oh, it's not showing up anymore, but it'll just say new message. It won't actually show you who it's from. You don't have to open every message because obviously some messages are more important than others. So by us turning on a preview, then we can see who's sending it and we can see if it's important or not important. So anyway, let me show you what you're going to do. You're going to go to messages. You're going to go to at the bottom here. If you press this button right here next to the big button, just tap there. Oh, one more time. Tap there. And then actually, excuse that. We want to go back. We want to make sure that we're on the messaging screen, not on a specific text message. So make sure it says messaging up here. And then press menu. And at the bottom, go to settings. And then we want to go to more at the top here. And we want to check the box where it says preview message. Show a preview of a received message on the status bar and lock screen. So we're going to check that box there. And then we're going to go back. And now I'm going to send another message. What's up? Or what up? I'm going to send it. And then I'm going to turn the screen off. And so check this out. So now when the message comes through, it shows you who sent it and it shows you a preview it'll show you the first line of the message so I might see this and say oh this is no big deal I don't have to open that but it might be somebody important and then you may say oh I need to go and I want to see that message so that's another helpful little tweak I always like to uh, perform because it just makes it easier to see who's texted you and what they've said or at least the beginning of what they said then you can see if it's important to open it or not so um, that's it for this first video. Again, this was just a video to show you a couple of tweaks you want to make just to make the device a little bit easier to use. In part two, we're going to go over the uh, the whole operating system so you can learn about all these different buttons down here, all these uh, icons. You'll learn about what did I just do, what is this swipe at the top here. So we're going to go over all that in part two, so make sure you check out that next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video. Subscribe to HU Tech Videos and follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Tech Videos. Take care and have a good one.